Okay, I thought I'd do a review on my stuff. All the gear that I carry when I head out on a fairly long trip, multiple days. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here, but it all fits in pretty compactly into my bags on the sides of the motorcycle and on the top box and on a bag I put on the seat. So I'll start off with my Camelback. Camelback's uh, pretty standard fare. I've got the, these two Sony camera bags uh, that I put on the side here. Up front, easy access. This one doesn't have anything in it. This one's just got a still shot camera in it. As you can tell, I like these little carabiner things. They're pretty handy. Lots of different things can be put on them. And this one I keep a lot of my um, granola bars, some bug wipes, a little bit of toilet paper, a few drink mixes here, other things. A lot of room in it. I like it that way. You can put uh, a few other things in there. Of course, on this side here, I've got uh, a French vanilla coffee maker, which is kind of cool. Tastes pretty good. A little bag for extra keys here. And that's that one. Carry a boot knife with me. Pretty nice little handy piece of equipment there. Got a uh, BMW plug that goes into a USB. One of those uh, in the back so I can keep things charged as I'm riding. Extra little camera bag and this is waterproof or water resistant anyway. I've dumped it in the water with some stuff in it and I've got my uh, other Sony cam in here. haven't tried this one out really on the road because I just got it this winter and I'll try it this summer and see how it works out. So far pretty nifty little tiny thing. And let's see how that works on the side of the camera or side of the helmet rather. Got my little uh, wrist viewer for the Sony cam. Nice thing on this one is I can put up to three cameras on it and I can switch between them if I want to. Pretty nice. Last uh, about two and a half hours. I think I got this one on eBay for about 80 bucks or so. Coming down in price pretty well now. Got a uh, toolkit. Various hooks and bobs there for connectors. Some wet wipes. And then here got some Tools, just basic uh, BMW kit came with it. Some bungees, which I never use because I hate those things on the bike, but if I ever had to really use them, I would. Uh, a little knife there, some wrenches, and a kit for taking just about whatever I need to off from all my Torx wrenches and my sockets. And those are pretty handy. I think I got those off of eBay for pretty cheap too. 20 bucks or something like that, 25 bucks. But they seem to be holding up pretty well. I've used them a lot on some things. Um, and here, some black tape. That's always pretty handy to have some of that. Get my little screwdriver that I can use. Anyway, got it. And you can always use a few zip ties, rubber gloves, things of that nature. Fairly extensive first aid kit that I keep with me. I also have a tourniquet that I got. Of course, this was one that my wife picked up at Goodwill for like five bucks. Keep an eye out, you can always find some pretty decent stuff around for a lot uh, cheaper than it would if you bought it new. This must have come out of a kit out of a car, but it's pretty complete. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Um, most of it's all in German, of course, but it doesn't matter. You can pretty well figure out what to do with it if you needed it in a heartbeat to help yourself or someone else or your fellow rider. You at least have it and hopefully never will have to use it. But at least it's there. Um, I've got two tents that I use. Um, this is one I picked up last summer for about 70 bucks. 
really nice. It's a two-person tent. This one's a Salida. And the reason I like it is because the width of this will allow me to fit it in my top case. It's one of the mandatory things was that it couldn't be longer than 20 inches or 21 inches. This one is just uh, sitting at, at about well, 17 or 18 inches really wide. Um, and the comparison of the two, this is a one-man tent. And it's a little smaller, obviously. And it sits right at 17 inches. The difference is that this smaller tent is like fitting yourself into a sausage casing. It's very tight. You can't sit up in it. You can't hardly change clothes in it if you needed to. Um, in clement weather, it's going to be kind of uh, tough to sit around in. Oh, look at that. I got that for a pretty good price. It still shows 114 bucks or 144 bucks. I got it for like 78, 80 bucks. Um, whereas a two-man tent, I can actually sit up in it. I can put my gear into it, um, and I have a little bit extra room in it. So it's kind of nice in that regard. This is my seat bag that I use. And as you can see, I've prominently labeled it on the outside. So in case uh, I get into an incident, somebody will be at least get next of kin notified. Um, this is something I bought off of eBay for... I believe 40 bucks, $50 at the max. I think it's 40 something. It's pretty nice. Um, and what I do is I strap this to the back seat, uh, passenger seat as I'm riding. I've loaded up with my um, clothing. This is just my clothing bag. And uh, there's something I've been looking for for a while. And then I use this as a sponge cushion to cushion it from the pads to the top case so I don't scratch anything up. As you can tell I'm probably pretty meticulous by the time you get done. Here's another piece of pad for making sure nothing gets scratched up. It's got a couple of pockets on each side. I put my electronics in here and it expands up so you can get quite a bit of stuff in it. I can get three days worth of clothing in it pretty easily. Next up I've got uh, something I use on my bike called Aftershocks. These are my headphones that I use in my helmet when I'm riding. I don't use them the traditional way, which you would put them on your head this way. This would be behind you, in your back of your head. I actually, through the face mask, put them on this way, and these sit right in front of your ears. On the bones of your ears, uh, or bones in front of your ears, your cheekbones, and the sound comes through there and vibrates through the bones and into your inner ear. and you can Bluetooth these to your smartphone or to an iPad, iPhone, um, anything that has uh, connectivity that way and it works out really well. You can get some really crisp sound out of it. You can kick the volume on up and down from there. It's just a really nice piece of equipment for me. I like listening to music while I ride. Some people tell you they're stupid. Um, probably is. Everyone has a device of some type and that's mine. These little jobbies here are glasses that I picked up. I haven't really tried them very much, but they uh, have a little bit of a bifocal for a person of my vision now. When you're looking at your GPS unit or whatever, this is kind of nice because it does have a bifocal opportunity in there to help you focus in on what's closer yet they're nice and um, gives you that distance then from when you're looking through them straight on. So it's a pretty, pretty nice piece of equipment. I hope to use these a little bit this summer coming up in 16 and see how they operate for me. But uh, I've heard some good reviews on them. I got these on sale. Uh, this model was going out of uh, production, so I got them pretty cheap for, I think, $60 max. They came with a hard shell case. I actually bought a couple of extra lenses, too some ambers and some clears that they switch out pretty quickly and anyway the nice little case there keeps them from getting messed up and I plan to put those in my top tank bag. These are my boots. Uh, I've been wearing these for gosh since 1986 so quite a while and as you can see I don't drag my feet. Um, nice garn boots. They uh, have served me well. They're very nice. Um, 
leather and they're flexible not too rainproof because uh, I do get water down from the top in here if I'm not wearing something that covers that up I, I will get water down in them this is an essential piece of equipment for me when I'm riding long distance it is a neck pillow as you can see but what I do with it is I put it on the seat and then I sit down on top of it and man I'll tell you it really is a lifesaver on the rear end it's better than the Airhawk cushion um, it's better than other things I've tried and but this seems to work pretty well because when you get tired of it that way and your butt needs another break you can flip it this way and it just varies the terrain on your rear end and gives you a, a little bit of a break and then when you're tired of it that way you can take it out and sit on the seat again normally and it gives you that um, just that rest period that you need this is my bag uh, sleeping bag it's a cold zero degree terrain mummy bag it's a pretty decent bag you can um, unzip it during the heat of the summer you can zip up if you're in the mountains keep a little warmer uh, the nice thing about this one is it has a little liner uh, pouch on the bottom side so that you can put your pad into it and not have your pad sliding around underneath you or you sliding around on top of your pad while you're in your tent sleeping at night so it's pretty decent that way um, I'm 6'4 and this is a little tiny bit tight on me but not so bad that it's uncomfortable but if I kind of sleep on the side or crunch up a little bit um, I get a pretty good sleep anyway um, nice nice piece of equipment oh and I forgot to tell you um, in the night this thing doubles up as my pillow um, when I'm sleeping and it works up a dual purpose there next up this is my sleeping pad it's a static four uh, I'm sorry this is a static five sleeping pad it rolls out about I think 20 inches, 18 inches that way wide and the length of the entire sleeping bag so it's an amazingly small piece of equipment that when you blow it up it gives you an inch, inch and a quarter worth of pad. Um, they say that you can probably blow it up in about 15 breaths but I probably get 25 out of it so it doesn't really matter it's not that big a deal. This is my uh, bag I put around my my tank bag in front of it just give me another little piece of uh, pouch and places to put some stuff here um, this is a USB port plug-in that I can get another 5 volts of power out of I can adjust this one to you know, all the way from 1 volt to 20 4 or 48 volts if I had that type of a system but I don't anyway I keep a little Things you know, like roll aids and piece of rope, things like that in there. Another little camera case bag that in this one I empty this out into my actual seat bag and I've got a charger in there that I plug in to a, the 12 volt system and charge my camera batteries as I'm riding if I need to. Of course where would I be without a selfie stick? Bought this little Jobby, I think for 12 bucks off of Amazon. Uh, not too bad. It works out pretty well. Extends out to about three times its length here. Um, fits pretty well with either the Sony or the GoPro on the screw in end. And this is just a basic hygiene kit. Stuff that you'd have. Deodorant, you want to make sure you smell pretty decent on the way. A little shampoo if I need to, uh, toothbrush, etc. Oh, yeah, a little Benadryl, which I needed on one trip when I hit uh, a bee right in the neck and it got stung and it hurt like heck for about 20 miles. Um, this is part of my getting into my gear for food and cooking utensils and whatnot. So, that's the way this works. I got this little freebie off 
um, when I bought a toolbox and this just fits in there at the very bottom gives it some support uh, this is a little folding shovel haven't had to use it but if you had to create a little latrine or something like that I always got to have that with me because it's, uh, it's a nice piece of equipment inside that I cram my sleeping bed roll and it goes in pretty decently my little spoon for food and then I can put that in my top box with the rest of my, my gear these are pretty handy these uh, are some tarps 5 by 7 nylon tarps they're water resistant they're really good I use them as my tent footprint uh, they were I think nine bucks at Walmart which you can only generally get them from about spring till maybe fall they're not available in the winter time but they seem to be seasonal the last two or three years I like it so much I actually picked up two and I bring both of them with me and uh, I bought my son one as well so that he can have have it for whatever he uses it for a footprint or a fly or something of that nature little Spydeco knife I generally have this uh, Spydeco knife with me it's got a clip on it you can pull it out and clipping onto your pants pocket or whatever you need it for there another little USB plug-in this is the one that goes in my black bag that I use for um, again recharging pieces of parts and equipment this is just a clip-on for uh, the, the camera. You can put this onto your leg or around your head if you wanted to, or tighten it up as much as you wanted to around your arm. Just another uh, way to get different uh, footage from different angles. Always got to have a little snap clip, um, a bag for dirty clothes, underwear, socks at the end of the day keep them off the cleaner stuff and this is a bag that I carry some other pieces and parts in I think in this one I've got my um, tire repair kits and I made a set of if you will makeshift jumper cables in case I ever ever really needed to hook up to a car or another battery for a motorcycle pretty thin wire but I think I can get enough juice to go through it enough amps to cover at least charging up a motorcycle and or jumping it air kit so that I can get my tire inflated if I end up with a flat in here is my cooking stove all fits pretty nicely and compact in there of course there's the, the gas and, and this one I've got the uh, the jet boil, great piece of equipment. You've probably all seen jet boils. If not, there's plenty of reviews on them, so you can get a look at it. But who cares whether it's one minute or five minutes to get something boiled? It uh, works pretty good for cooking up a some ramen or a mountain house. Again, that's another piece of equipment that fits in the top box. Got my uh, rain gear in here, front tops and bottoms um, from Aeromoto. I believe I got those off online buying shops for like 50 bucks. Pretty good, works well, um, doesn't flap around, serves its purpose in the rain. And then this is just a very lightweight motorcycle cover, pretty small, compact. And at least it gives you something to cover it up, keep dust off of it, keep birds off of it uh, if they're roosting in a tree nearby. And uh, anyway, that's it. This one sits in a side bag. This sits in a side bag. This is in a side bag. And my tool kit's in a side bag as well. And that's the motorcycle itself. Do a review on that sometime.